as you know in corporate you know you have to grow at the time at, at the same time you have to contain your expenses correct business article presents the sumit kumar show hello and welcome to business article this is the segment 2 uh, with mr k m suresh he is one of the leading solution architect in the pharma industry he has close to 3 decades of experience we have already discussed one segment with him where he has uh, Uh, given a brief details about how he has started his career and how the cultural shocks and professionalism he has received in mumbai once he had an appointment with a doctor uh, now in this segment as uh, i have promised i will make sure that he will be with us for the uh, segment where he will give us the ideas how the corporate presentations happens and what are the key things if you are a general manager or senior manager in your organizations to keep in mind before going for the board meetings so the floor is for yours please enlighten us what are the key things uh, every senior managers or somebody who is making a, a financial presentations what are the things they have to keep in mind so i can narrate the experience what i have right I do not know about the other corporates what mm-hmm. they follow. Um, being in Alcon and being in Bangladesh as a general manager, mm-hmm. we had to uh, go through 150 slides, okay. and it would have about 40 Excel sheets. Oh my God! So the first slide start starts with your growth mm-hmm. versus the expenses. Mm-hmm. because as you know in corporate you know you have to grow at the time at, at the same time you have to contain your expenses correct in organization whenever we have we had two other things one is that we have to have something called as a pre budget mm-hmm. so when the slides are sent to us mm-hmm. it happens sometime in july mid july to mid july okay the slides comes to the finance manager mm mm-hmm. he is responsible for the mm-hmm. the entire presentation along mm-hmm. with the general manager so once we go through that slides mm-hmm. we have to basically fill up the numbers all right so that slides will the first slide captures what is your growth versus your expenses that okay. the ratio okay so once you put that slide the whole story starts okay your market share your sales number your previous sales number how you have grown and your activities your expenses under the expenses and which heads you have allotted what is the budget so it's a very elaborate uh, thing which alcon follows mm-hmm. so you can imagine in you know, 150 slides we have to go through mm-hmm. and that is linked to the excel sheet mm-hmm. and what we had was the gsfs it's mm-hmm. called global sales forecasting system okay mm-hmm. so whatever we do it on the excel sheet and the slide mm-hmm. this numbers will have to get into the gsfs right so once that gets locked mm-hmm. that means you have freezed your <coughs> the ratio the sales and the expense ratio for the next year the following year so uh, let's say in india our financials here i mean the most of the corporate start from april on right. right so what's about the bangladesh same principle or they have the different forecast uh, for alcon it's the same throughout the globe okay uh, we were representing 180 countries mm-hmm. and all the countries have to go through the same slides and same set of excel okay. sheet So what we you have we had to do was one is that long term, mm-hmm. okay. So we had to plan for the five years term. Long so term. So now when we start when we say about two thousand two two thousand twenty two, I need to plan up to two thousand twenty seven. Okay. Okay, that's a long term plan. Right. Then you focus on the year. That mm-hmm. means two thousand twenty three. That's a short term. Right. Okay? Then I have um, that's a medium. Okay. Then I have a short term where I have to perform quarter. quarter versus quarter. Okay. Okay. So that's how they used to measure our performance. Okay. So when I talk about it, so we have something called as a what is the market growth 
for this particular segment. Mm -hmm. So that's available data from the third party. So we take that data mm -hmm. and say that, let's say that Bangladesh is growing at the market uh, growth of GDP. 18%. GDP. Not GDP. It's a market growth for products. Okay, products, right. So you can be as slightly above or below based on your um, resources, what you have for the country. And the sales performance. And sales performance. So basically, we look at last two to three years performance and say that these are the new products which mm -hmm. is going to be introduced in the market. Mm -hmm. And what we had was two divisions. Mm -hmm. One is the the surgical division mm -hmm. and other one is the pharmaceutical division. Right. But Bangladesh being a market where it was not regulated mm -hmm. and when I say it is not regulated, when Algon launches a product, they would copy and within six months time, they would come <laughs> out with this. They are local products. Local products. Oh, very tough for you. Yeah. So, because of that situation, the senior management decided to stop the pharma business. Okay. So, it was only the surgical business we had. Okay. And mainly, I had dealt only with the surgical. So, it became mm. uh, very close to me when I was in Bangladesh. Mm. So... <clears throat> When I took over Bangladesh, it was $1.8 million. Hmm. And when I left Bangladesh in July 2013, mm -hmm. I was supposed to close at $4.4 .4 million. Wow, almost four times here. Oh, um, I mean, the yeah. number was from one to four. Yeah. So it was a tough market and uh, I have a policy that I don't give a single rupee mm -hmm. to get the business and I don't deal with cash. Right. That's your professional ethics. So, uh, right from day one, and I was doing in Chennai, mm -hmm. it was my policy that if you're working for the best company, right. if you have the best to the people, mm -hmm. then why should I pay cash to him to get the business? Correct. That's so true. But the Bangladesh market was totally different. Mm -hmm. They had the thought if you can, when you have, when you approach an hospital, mm -hmm. if they have to buy a product which costs, uh, let's say, 10 lakh taka. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was be it used to be in Taka. Mm -hmm. So people used to say, "We'll give something to the administrator, mm -hmm. like fifty thousand taka, mm -hmm. and get the business." Mm -hmm. And I was totally against it. Mm -hmm. The distributor also was not very happy with me because of my uh, thing, and I got a mail saying that I don't think you will survive more than six months in this market. Oh. So that made me to take a decision that what may come. Hmm. I'll prove myself and make sure that when I leave from there, I will leave a legacy in Bangladesh. All right. And I did complete four and a half years as per my assignment. Then uh, I was moved back to Mumbai, India. India, where you And uh, since the headquarters was in Bangalore, mm -hmm. so they gave me a role of marketing manager. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I thought uh, they should be giving as a sales manager mm -hmm. because that is where my mode of expertise is mm -hmm. but the senior management in Alcon India thought that he would do a good job and say marketing manager mm -hmm. but over a period of time I find that I didn't have to do anything there okay. it was just like a like a rubber stamp mm -hmm. the GM with the marketing director decides what should be the market share mm -hmm. and we just need to put an put the figures in there to match what they say. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have anything to do much. Mm -hmm. So it was frustrating for me. It was about, uh, I joined, I came back to India in July 2013. Mm -hmm. And by October 2010, uh, they asked me to <coughs> leave. Okay, that must be a painful decision. We'll talk about more once we discuss the next segment, which is the corporate ethics. A right. lot of organizations, they have a HR policy. Do they really follow the HR policy or not? He can give the right, right perspective in the pharma industry per se. So we'll have a next segment where we will discuss more about him. What is his experience once some corporate organization say that we have a HR policy? Do they follow or they don't follow? And if they follow, what are the loopholes? We have to understand it in the greater details. We'll come up with the very next segment with Mr. K.M. Suresh. Thanks for watching Business Article. And Mr. Suresh, thank we you are so very much. kind to you that you, you have given thank your you very precious time with our community 
on business article thanks to all the subscriber keep watching and subscribing business article i'll see you very soon with the next episode with mr so i take Shresh. this opportunity to thank you sumit for giving a lovely opportunity for me to express my my journey and i'm sure i think we'll have a lot of uh, scope to explore on this one sure thank you so much sure we'll see you soon till then goodbye take care